And as a free society, our society has chosen fossil fuels for the most part. And in places where they're prohibited, such as like when hurricanes come, like in New York or, or New Jersey, it's chaos without them. And I think that, I think Alex has a, a great point when he says it's food for food, but it's also food for heat, it's food for cars, it's food for everything we do. So, and when we don't have those things, it is chaos. So what would you propose to, to take away first? Like what would you make illegal first? Like do you think the government should be more involved? I did not say that. I said the one thing, really the most important thing that the government could do is correct this powerful market failure. If you put up, if you're a solar installer and you're putting up solar panels, you have to clean up on the job site and you have to pay to put away the trash that you've created, okay? But if you're a fossil fuel company, you don't. You get to pour the carbon into the atmosphere for free. And I've given you about 15 powerful reasons for why that's a very bad idea, including the fact that it's creating the conditions of chaos that you described. Now, at the position we're in at the moment, that's exactly right. That's what happened. That's why we need to make this transition and do it as quickly as possible and delaying it and deciding that we should just go on like we are for another 10 or 20 or 30 years because it's more convenient for us is a very serious mistake. Well, can, I, can I say that's not a very specific answer? Yeah, to kind of address where I think the questioner might be coming from, it's, I don't think it's constructive if you're talking about a very, very specific prohibition on human life, namely, we should not be free to use fossil fuels going forward. And again, I didn't come up with the number 95%. Bill gave the number 95%. No, actually, I gave the number 80% in that uh, in, article. Your, in your book, Earth, you give 95%. Mm. So there's just this issue of, of what is going to specifically happen as your practical sources of energy get taken away. So as the factories that can now run cheaply and have just opened up in the US due to cheap natural gas, as, say, fracking gets banned, which Bill is in favor of banning it, what's going to happen as your price of oil goes up? What's going to happen as your price of food goes up? My goal here tonight is just to alert you to a value whose freedom is being attacked. I have no particular interest in fossil fuels except in my interest in energy, that we need energy to live and we need this form for a long time to come. That's why I emphasize nuclear, hydro. Um, what I just want to keep saying is that 80, 95 percent, Bill is not taking seriously the implications of what he's saying, and he's not taking seriously, he, he's not really being upfront with how much this would ruin your life, what it would mean concretely. Um, and it would ruin your life, but much more quickly it's going to ruin the people uh, on the margin.